Obesity is an increasing issue in dogs, with reports as high as 60% of the population being overweight or obese. Many dog owners are unaware of their dog's ideal weight, or even the current weight of their dog. Exercise is a key area for maintaining or losing weight and can easily be controlled by dog owners. Although most dog owners walk their dog between 30 to 45 minutes a day, this is often not achieving the recommended amount of exercise for the breed of dog. The aim of the study was to determine whether a smartphone or Fitbit accelerometer could reliably measure the activity of a dog by comparing it to the data collected by the Geneva Active Accelerometer. It was hypothesised that the devices would show no differences to the Geneva Active Accelerometer. 20 dogs from 10 different breeds were collected using opportunistic sampling. Each owner completed a consent form prior to testing. All dogs were walked on harness on a daily basis. The perfect fit harness was used, with the size de changing depending on the size of the dog. A custom made sleeve was designed to fit all sizes of the perfect fit harness. The sleeve contained the smartphone Motorola G5, the Fitbit Charge 2 and the Genie Active accelerometer. All devices measured at 100Hz and it sat centrally on the dog's upper back above the scapulae. Dogs were given 10 minutes on lead to habituate to the harness once it was attached to minimise unnatural movement when recording. Dogs were then walked for 45 minutes off lead in an area familiar to them that the owner often walks. Devices were started as simultaneously as possible before the 45 minutes began. The steps recorded by the Fitbit were recorded at the end. The smartphone and Genie Active data was imported into R for post-processing. The data was synchronised via timestamp. Ten sublots of stride events were taken from each dog. The first and last 10% of the data was ignored to minimise irrelevant data from setting up or stopping equipment. Each subplot was collected by using the total number of centiseconds recorded by each device, dividing this total by 10, then using the number to eliminate from both the start and the end of data. 10 evenly spaced samples were then taken from the total number of readings from the middle of the data. The accelerations were counted as stride events. The Wilcoxon signed ranks test on SBSS was used to analyse the smartphone and Genie Active accelerometer data, and the paired sample T test was used to analyse the Genie Active accelerometer and Fitbit data. The smartphone and Genie Active accelerometer showed no statistical difference in the first or eighth sample, but statistical difference was seen in all other samples. There was a significantly higher number of stride events recorded by the smartphone in comparison to the Genie Active accelerometer. The Fitbit and Genie Active accelerometer data showed no significant difference. Early data by, recorded by the smartphone proposed reliability for the device accurately counting stride events. Previous research has also seen reliability of the smartphone as an accelerometer in both human and animal studies. Overall, a significant difference was seen between the Genie Active accelerometer and smartphone. Analysis of individual samples showed that the reliability found initially in sample 1 decreased and became insignificant by sample 2, gradually decreasing in reliability as duration progressed. The smartphone data recorded inconsistently. This caused missing data during the 45 minutes of recording due to skipped timestamps. Although a statistical significance was found in sample 8, from revisiting the graphs for a comparison between the recorded stride events, the smartphone Genie Active accelerometer, there is little similarity in the stride event frequency. The study provides evidence that the smartphone is not reliable or accurate for use in measuring dog stride events. Further research should investigate whether a different smartphone or application would provide more accurate and reliable results. The Fitbit is more affordable, small and simple to use device. The findings show that the Fitbit can be used on dogs' harnesses to measure the dog's activity. This allows for clear steps to be derived from the device, which can in turn encourage owners to increase their dog's daily activity. The Fitbit has been found to have no significant difference to the Actograph accelerometer, this supports the study's findings as the Actograph accelerometer has been more extensively studied for measuring dog activity and has shown positive results. Although the Actograph is more researched, the Fitbit is more accessible to purchase, lower in cost and therefore is more likely to be commonly owned.